everybody. Hey, Quinn, guess what? What, Cadence? Do you know what we're going to learn about today? What? Tornadoes! Yay! A tornado might have carried Dorothy and Toto away to a fantastic adventure in the movie and book, The Wizard of Oz. But in real life, you don't want to get anywhere near one. A tornado is a violent and destructive storm that can last anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. Basically, powerful winds rotate in a funnel-shaped cloud around a central point, and the most violent tornadoes are capable of tremendous destruction with wind speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. They can destroy large buildings, uproot trees, and hurl vehicles hundreds of yards. I have a question, what do tornadoes look like? A tornado usually looks like a big greenish gray column of twisting air, like a thundercloud being stretched downward. Some people think they look like giant elephant trunks. And as long as the air is swirling around up in the sky, it's not quite a tornado. That's called a funnel. But when the funnel touches the ground, that's when it's actually a tornado. I have another question. Where do tornadoes occur? Good question. Tornadoes can form most anywhere, but most of the tornadoes in the United States occur in an area called Tornado Alley. And Tornado Alley stretches from northern Texas to South Dakota and from Missouri to the Rocky Mountains. There are over 1,000 tornadoes in the United States every year. That's a lot of tornadoes. Well then, how do tornadoes start? Well, tornadoes usually come from thunderstorms. So if warm, moist air from a place like the Gulf of Mexico meets cold, dry air from a place like Canada, and when these two air masses meet, they create instability in the atmosphere. A change in wind direction and an increase in wind speed with increasing height creates an invisible horizontal spinning effect in the lower atmosphere. Horizontal means side by side, like when you look at the ocean, you can see it stretched from one side to the next. Then rising air within the updraft tilts the rotating air from horizontal side to side to vertical up and down. Tornadoes come in different shapes and sizes. Some may appear as wide funnel shaped clouds and others as thin rope like swirls stretching from the ground to the sky. Um, are there different types of tornadoes? That's a great question. I bet you thought there might only be one type of tornado. Well, you're wrong. Here are the different types. One type is called a supercell, and a supercell is a large, long-lived thunderstorm. It can produce some of the largest and most violent tornadoes you see. Another one is called a water spout. A water spout actually forms over water, and they usually disappear when they hit land. And the last one is a land spout. A land spout is similar to a water spout, but on land. It's weak and not associated with a vortex of air from a thunderstorm. What direction do tornadoes spin? Actually, tornadoes spin in different directions. Tornadoes in the southern hemisphere usually rotate clockwise, but tornadoes in the northern hemisphere usually rotate counterclockwise. Well, how long do tornadoes last for? Well, the duration and the distance they travel varies. Most last less than about 10 minutes and can travel from about three to eight miles before disappearing. But in extreme cases, however, they can last several hours and cross distances over 50 miles or 150 kilometers. How powerful are tornadoes? Do they always destroy things? Tornadoes are measured using the Fujita scale or the F scale, ranging from an F0 to an F5, with an F5 being the strongest and most destructive. An F0 has wind speeds of 40 to 72 miles per hour. They usually cause light damage, which basically means some broken branches off trees and some minor roof damage. An F1 
has wind speeds of 73 to 112 miles per hour. This causes moderate damage, trees snapped, mobile homes pushed off foundations, and roofs damaged. An F2 has 113 to 157 mile per hour winds. This causes considerable damage, mobile homes demolished, trees uprooted, strong built homes unroofed. An F3 has wind speeds of 158 to 206 miles per hour. This causes severe damage. Trains can be overturned, cars lifted off the ground, strong built homes have outside walls blown away. An F4 has 207 to 260 mile per hour winds. This causes devastating damage. Houses leveled, leaving piles of debris. Cars thrown 300 yards or more in the air. And an F5, 261 to 318 miles per hour. This causes incredible damage. Strongly built homes are completely blown away. Are there any other names for tornadoes? There actually are other names for a tornado. One is called a twister, another a cyclone, and another is called a funnel. What should you do if you see a tornado? Yep, well, if you ever, ever experience a tornado, go to the basement or a storm shelter. And if you don't have a basement, go to an interior room without windows. Make sure you're on the lowest floor and go in something like a bathroom or a closet. And if you can, get under a sturdy piece of furniture, like a heavy duty table. Tornadoes are very interesting weather patterns, but also very, very dangerous. So if you do see one, don't try and be brave and take pictures. Find a safe place to protect yourself and your loved ones. And now that you know more about tornadoes and how they start and how big they can be, we want to know what you thought was the coolest fact in this video. So leave a comment below and let us know. And don't forget to tell us what other videos you want us to make for you to learn. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub, smash, and ring. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom!